know, I know, I'm right here. Good morning, good morning. Am I on? I'm on. Good morning. Good morning. Look at how I care everything down. This is how I care everything down in the morning. Okay. So there's there's that. Because I don't like the way I sit in my mother's office with my back turned. And I don't wanna disrupt anything. So therefore this is how I'm carrying everything down good morning good morning I had a meeting this morning if you guys are wondering like everybody else in my household my mother my father where you going where you going where you going where you going oh I had a meeting high school meeting <clears throat> I didn't know I wasn't allowed to wear makeup in my own house without being questioned. Okay? So that's how my morning's going. Okay? I'm already being questioned. Good morning. Good morning. Mm hmm. I had a 7 o'clock meeting. What's up at the crack of dawn? Ooh, I just thought of L.L. -L. Crack it on. Hey. Hey. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fun, right, Sheila? Good times. Good times. Can't wait to get out of here. Love them, though. Love them. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Are you getting yourself in trouble, Max? Max is getting himself in trouble. <sighs> Okay, how was it rather after the read went off yesterday? That read was shut down, so we're not going to talk about it. It was purposely shut down. Um, Raw Love was for the whole month, but I'm going to do stuff in between. Hi, Court, is the Raw Love? Yeah, for, it's like for the whole month, but it's like... Energy's fluent, so I'm going to do something for you guys in between. I just did a Zodiac thing yesterday for you guys. Kind of know where you're at, where the energy's at. Okay. So. Free hugs. Ooh, ooh. I did a lot of hugging, hugging in my dreams last night. Lots of hugging. That's all I remember. I don't remember conversations. Like, I remember dreams. I remember who I was with. But I don't remember the conversations, per se. Yeah, I had a meeting this morning. Thank you. Yes, makeup today. Jeez Louise, I feel like... The minute I walked home, or walked out, they're like, are you going out again? No. I had a meeting. I think I'm slacking too much working from home, to be honest with you, because this was me every day. I'm literally slacking too much, I guess. Not necessarily with the makeup. I, I guess it's just like the amount of clothes I have and the amount of like everything. Like, But I don't dress up like that for work, so I don't know. But it's, I mean, good morning. It's been on my mind, like, what was it the other day? It was something about a job. Like, I miss, like, I love what I do, but I like getting up every day and going. So, like, 
I might just rent like a commercial property or something and, and go to work like that because I miss that, believe it or not. You know, I miss getting up, getting dressed, getting ready, starting my day. I mean, I do it with you guys all the time, but like, I miss the whole getting up in the morning thing. My hair is all over the place. So, that might be my next move, is renting out some office space. Mm. I used to love wearing scrubs to work. But even then, it's still getting up and going. See what I'm saying? Like, here, I'm not getting up and going like that. So, and I wasn't in my house either. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love working from home. But I think I want to rent some office space and just once in a while. Once in a while, um work out of the office versus like a home office you know I don't know it is what it is I've been thinking about it it's just a matter of location at this point it's just a matter of location it's wrinkly though it's wrinkly um I miss the scrubs I know I brought some with me I sleep in them once in a while like not the tops but I'll, I'll sleep I used to yeah I used to wear scrubs all the time and um, a couple years ago, I worked. I drew blood all day. Um, and tested blood, that type of stuff. And um, I miss my scrubs. I miss them. But anywho, -zy. I also miss wearing my heels when I used to do accounting. So, but you know how you miss it when it's like gone, but like when you're working for it, you don't really miss it. So. I love what I do, so I'm just thinking about renting some commercial space once I, once I get settled, once I get settled, so we shall see. So we got the Page of Pens, Nine of Swords, this is going to be Weekend Energy. You're so cute, Talon. You're so cute. You got the hangman. See, I don't... I'm not even going to talk about yesterday's V because they purposely shut it down. So, I hope I get other stuff. So, right now we have the Page of Pence, Nine of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Four of Cups, the Wheel, Eight of Swords, looking up. Someone's got major anxiety this weekend. But there's, we got the Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, whoa, I didn't know there was three. Okay. So, they would come out this way. Moving on down. Move on down. So I can... Okay, I'm going to show you one by one. Page of Pence, Nine of Swords, The Hang Girl, Four of Cups. The wheel. I think that's the eight. Yep, eight of swords. Looking straight up at the nine of swords. Knight of wands. Two of wands. The world. So congratulations. Nine to four. Uh, nine to four. Congratulations, you got a new job working nine to four. Nine of pence. So, that must be connected to the Four of Cups up here. So, oh, and then we have another Four sitting right next to it, the Four of Pents. So, it, it was actually here. I, I forgot. Look at the frog. It's such a cute frog. Hi, Cass Cass. Okay, yep. Just step all over my cards. Castle. Castle Marie. Apparently, I gave you a new name yesterday. 
Okay, so there's there's something reliable. Okay, there's been a major change, but this change is causing someone to be a little upset. I don't link. I I don't know if it's linked to the nine of pence because she's a little upset. Okay, so why are people wanting to clarify cards? I, I mean, I, I didn't even start. La Mama, stop screaming out my name, girlfriend, right now. You just pulled me. So, I know, funny but not funny. So now I got to bubble myself from you guys. So hold up, because you pulled me in way too quick. Hmm. I almost did that. I literally did that without doing it. Um, so there's this change, but but it's a reliable change, okay? So Someone's bored with someone's antics here. Somebody has anxiety about maybe talking. We have desire. So it's coming in towards the two of wands, making decisions. Somebody somebody made up their mind to move forward. Um, and we got the nine of pence. <sighs> I don't think she wants to F with something that's tempting right now. Um, she looks like she's having a hard time with something. Because it's like, maybe she knows that somebody's tempted with her. And... She's having a hard time. This is this is deep because if you ask me, she's kind of been holding on. Kind of, sort of. So, again, it's deep. So, I'm not going to apologize and say, sorry, you're, you're in for a deep weekend again. You know, it's been a deep week and it's ironic because in the beginning of the week, we talked about, like, damn, it's going to be a deep, rough week. And I didn't, and I was baffled because I was like, you know, this doesn't make any sense why this energy is coming in like this because we weren't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? But all week, it's been extremely, extremely deep. So this is a deep bond that you have with somebody and this is not going to be a normal this is an emotional bond okay um emotional bonds are deep they're they're deep it's they're deep i'm just gonna leave it at that like they're deep to the point where some people walk away from them i could see why there's crying but it's, it's deeper than tears okay this is this is one that gets your gut upset like this is this bond for whomever this is okay is you guys are able to go to that depth once you have that type of depth with somebody, it's unbreakable. So it's beautiful, but it's deep. So either you guys are preparing yourselves for this or you're in the midst of already going through this. 
Um, someone is finding somebody desirable, but the one that's being desired is upset. And I don't know why she's, and I'm saying she because all the, this, the, it's all females in this card, these cards. There's no men in these cards. But this man that's desiring her, this is that connection. And she doesn't want to just be desired. For her looks. Okay. She wants to be. She wants the deep. She's got the deep. Okay. But. She can have Prince Charming. You know what I mean? Like she can have whomever. Like it's not. It's not about that. It's the way they're connecting. So. If somebody came in recently more charming. And it's more of like a sexual desire. She's, she, she's a little bent out of shape. I think she already knows the desires there. So it's, it's not about that type of intimacy to her, okay? It's about the depth of intimacy through intellect. You know, it's, so, you know, if someone's just coming at you for like a one night stands, you're not, you're not having it, okay? This is not what this is, but if that happens to be like the way your weekend's going, you're not, you're not about it. Like you'd shut that shit down real quick. It's, it's, it's the intellect. But I think you have the intellect, okay? But I don't know if you think you're being looked at like a piece of meat. <sighs> like, not to that extreme, but like, that type of intimacy is not on your mind. You might be sexually frustrated, but you're not... not what it's about for you I think you're just looking for reliability you're looking for something solid um, considering we've been talking about this all week I'm assuming you guys are analyzing you guys situation right now and the way you're analyzing it is some are crying some are channeling some are talking to the divine some are meditating some are just bored with their life um others are just really bent out of shape that it's desire that's pulling somebody else in like really bent out of shape So I'm not really sure. It looks like this Knight of Wands has changed his perspective. Um, I don't think he's bored, nor do I think she's bored. So I don't know if somebody feels like they missed an opportunity here. But this is boredom. But with the amount of deep energy on my board this week. I wouldn't think anyone's bored if you're in this energy. Well, that's not true. You can have bored moments, but I think it's more than that. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. We have anxiety on the board. 
Ace of Pants flew out. We have anxiety on the board. We have some sorrow. This is... This is what do I do? What do I do? This is like... I can feel it in my gut. Like when you guys have a conversation, if you haven't already, it's um... It's like, I see you up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Like, you're getting up, you're getting down. It's like you're walking away, breathing, coming back. I don't know if you're just trying to gather your thoughts. I can feel your stomach, okay? So it's like... It's, it's almost hard for you to get the words out because... Something's being triggered. Tell me about this four of cups. Oh, freaking, you know what I can't stand women is when you have these jeans that are so low and it's like you go to sit and it's like right at your freaking belly button. It's like, man, did I just undo my button? No. Just freaking the way it's sitting is like I'm not no they're super comfy okay it's just it's just the way I'm like the way I'm sitting right now it's like super awkward and, but it's like it's purposely going to my button so I don't know if it's like your umbilical cord would be there so it's like I don't something's gonna give birth it's that whole stomach thing that I was just talking about it's like it's linked So four cups, four cups. Ace of Swords. So yeah, you're this is like no more sitting around. This is somebody about to talk about something, and all I see is like that looks like water to me more than it does air. I just saw a humpback whale. I don't know where it went. It's not there no more, but I just saw a humpback whale. So to me, this is emotional, even though it's probably air. I don't know. That image just went away. Um, so this is the truth coming out. So if someone's been silent, if someone's been not talking, this is almost like hermit mode because this is the truth about Maybe it's just the truth on why somebody didn't take an opportunity when an opportunity was given. But you can't have everything you want when you want it. It just it doesn't work that way. I think somebody's starting to realize that, you know? This is deep. Man, I can't wait to come back on Monday. I can't wait to come back on Monday. Um... Tell me about this Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands has made a decision and get on, got on its path, okay? Or this is the two of you deciding to do it together because it looks like the truth is coming in with this change, okay? So we have the star. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarian or if it's just the, the stars are working in, for your direction right now, okay? So, but they feel restricted because... It's not going in the direction of this mama. It's going in this direction of somebody who's got anxiety right now that's looking straight up at the nine. So they're not restricted anymore, but there was some type of restriction. This person's mask is off, okay? So if you, the person you were dealing with wore a mask, it's, it's off. Because this is linked to this. So it, that's done with. They went into hangman mode, okay? So that silence is done. Here comes the conversation. So either this has already happened or it's about to. Truth is coming at you. This is like, this is like, I'm going to tell you the truth. It doesn't make any sense for me to keep it from you anymore, okay? this The depth of this conversation you guys are going to have, it's between you... The stars, the moon, the clouds, 
the two of you it's it's like a, a it's like the three of cups energy it's a celebration you both are carrying it you both want it it's the threes but the divine is going to be celebrating too i think they're going to be celebrating before you guys are even celebrating because this mama's having a hard time. Or it's this gentleman. It's it's all women on my damn deck. So it's like... Someone's got super anxiety about speaking the truth. This change wasn't easy. Whomever was at a stalemate... It looks like there was a good reason. And it's not because there's tears on their face. It's because... Something's telling me. That there was a good reason. <coughs> I'm not justifying anyone's silence. Okay. That's for sure. Tell me about the hangman. <clears throat> Someone's all choked up. It's the Knight of Swords. So this person you must be dealing with air. Or they're coming in as air. Changed their perspective. Fought their battles. The Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck coming out of it. Which their Nine of Swords is right there. So... Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, it's just the way they're coming in. Because they've been analyzing. But now it's like, it's almost like they know they can't analyze anymore. They're desiring a new direction with someone. But this mama is like... Not really sure. Tell me about this nine of pence. Okay. What's up with this mama? What's up with this mama? We got the moon and the seven of swords. So I don't know if she wants to, if she's going to sabotage something with the moon. So it's like that high priestess energy. Either Cancerian or Pisces. Okay. That's what you're coming in as. Because Cancer rules the moon. But it's the Pisces card. But it's to me it's the High Priestess. I'll clarify the moon. But we got the Seven of Swords. So it's, it's someone knows it's karmic. And, and karmic can be good. It doesn't, karmic's not necessarily always bad, ladies and gents. So, she's confused. Tell me about this moon. Um, I will tell you, Ten of Swords, so she's, she's done with the whole, this is let bygones be bygones. It's not even like, oh, I got stabbed in the back. It's, it's almost like that confusion is even done with, but like, she knows it's done with and it, 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 in order to move forward. Enough is enough. Tell me about this two of wands. I'm loving this frog. It looks like a Colombian frog. <clears throat> the have a font. So it's 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 divine too. It could be speaking about somebody in the spotlight with the world right there. What is this? I want this. 
the towel. So it's being divinely put together. It's This can also be a move because we've got the world right next to it. This is travel. This is spiritual. This is an awakening. Once you get this truth, you're going to go through another awakening. I don't know if it's the two of you or just one of you. But you're going to go through another awakening. I, I think the two of you are when you come together. I don't even think, I don't even think you know It's the decisions, the decisions already been made. So it's now at this point, it's what it's saying is how do you take the tool you guys' <clears throat> visions, intentions, how do you put them together? Two of pence with the four of pence. So it's it's grounding the situation. It's grounding. It's being flexible. It's sometimes it's sometimes it's greed, but like I don't know what greed would be doing on my board. I don't, because when I clarified it, it's with the two of pence. So to me, it's just grounding the situation. Page of pence. Tell me about the page of pence. So, something's being orchestrated with the lovers. Okay, so... With the lovers, with the lovers. There's the two of you already together. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the birds and the bees. And the lovers, and the lovers. And the lovers, and the lovers, it's the nine of cups, it's wishes coming true, it's being on cloud nine with the knight of wands, somebody's going after, they're happy. So it looks like this weekend is going to be <clears throat> just as deep as this weekend, as this week. Or something's coming into fruition. It's that truth. I think that truth, that clarity came in Monday or Tuesday for some of you. Um, others, it's it, it just took time to creep around the corner. Um, again, it's transformation. This was the same card that I pulled yesterday for the end of the Valentine's read. Okay. It's somebody's heart. Because she's holding a heart. Okay. Um, somebody's heart is being aligned, transformed. <clears throat> Hot chakras being opened. Um, letting bygones be bygones. Letting that inner child 
be a child. It's beautiful. Okay, let's do another bead. Um, and it's it's a calling. I feel like manifest um, with a soulmate. Okay, so this is a pretty um, divine union, but even in regards of it being a divine union, it still takes the two of you to decide what it is you're going to do, how you're going to do it, what direction you're going to go in, putting your intentions together, being honest, speaking from the soul, the heart. I think you guys have done enough analyzing about certain situations. So... This energy is coming in. You guys are literally going to decide which direction you're going to go in. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's shaman. Or just has some type of... um. It's a bloodline that I'm thinking of. It's... um. I think it's P O W N E E P is it's Native American. It's one of those. That's what I'm seeing. Like P E W P something like that. Okay, um, and it's linked to hummingbird. So anyway, it's deep. So I think some of you guys have shaman roots, Native American roots. Something about the blood. Well, it's it's really your soul. It's something about your souls. Maybe it's meshing the bloodlines. If you guys have children. Um, I need lotion. Or it's like... Something here, it's pretty powerful. And it's, it's linked to the hummingbird. It's linked to your soul. Okay, so... Whatever that is for you guys. It's almost like when somebody passes away, because this is what I'm seeing. It's like somebody passed away. And when they passed away, a hummingbird came out of their soul, like came out of their chest. So it's like their spirit lives on. So oh, it's very bizarre. That's what I'm seeing. That's the image I see. Okay, so it's it's being it's being led by a soul that's already crossed over. So yeah, it's the divine, but it's also it's got to be a loved one that's putting somewhere some putting someone or two people together somewhere. And I don't know if it's saying. The spirit is saying, take the soul, because it's looking right up at the four of cups, which was the ace of swords, which is speaking the truth, speaking from the soul. There's been growth, so don't doubt yourself, um, whether it's, it's, it's one or the other. It's, it's time. There's, I mean, there's butterflies everywhere. There's hummingbirds. There's a baby fawn, there's an elephant, there's a tiger, and there's a bunny. It could just, it could just be an ancestor. It doesn't even have to be somebody that recently passed. It could legitimately be an ancestor, okay?
So just pull another one. Just make sure they're they're meshing because that one was more. That was I don't know what that was. That was a beautiful read, but that was what it was. So who watches manifest? Because now that I see this card with the calling, okay, so it, it's like, that's what I'm, I think of is, is the calling. So it's like, I don't know if you're hearing things, seeing things, okay, trying to figure out things, analyze, what up buttercup, trying to analyze things. I think there's been more than enough analyzing on both of you guys' ends. I think it's time for the analyzing to be done with. Yeah, the, the tribe that, whatever the Native American tribe is that I saw was, it was, yeah, I think it was P-A-W-N-E-E. -E. I don't know if there's a U in there, but that's definitely it. No, it's not that crafty. It's that one, P A W N E. So, whatever that is to you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. No, a crow doesn't necessarily mean death. Crows are extremely smart birds. And people think crows mean death because, well, it, because they hang out in cemeteries. But if you ask me, they're, you know, they can be, they're super smart birds. And, and nobody likes to mess with a crow because they can be aggressive. But just Google it. There's many, many reasons. Um, I see crows every day. To me, it's a crow is a crow. Some days when they talk, I know they're talking to me. Crows and ravens can look a lot alike too. So, um, but they're very territorial birds. Okay, so um, I think ravens are way more spiritual than crows. Every bird is a spiritual type of bird, but. Um, can it represent death? Yeah, but I mean, people die every second. Um, and I see crows every day, so I don't, I don't ever look into a crow. I mean, crows can be pretty destructive. That's why you see them a lot at, like, cemeteries, because it's very territorial. They also, they also protect, okay? Um, and... Some say it can be a sign of rebirth, so it's it's kind of like, it's how you want to take it. Okay. So, weekend energy. Let me just see what we get for weekend energy. Let me see if I get something different. Be a pence. Awesome, Mike. What up, my little, um, my little plant herbalist? Um, I got little Mike Breezy on here, and I got Will Breezy. I got three, three, the Empress came out too. So it's like, here we go again with these threes, okay, with the King of Swords and the Death card. time to create the empress and the king of swords are going to create and it's going to be long term with this death card this is just straight up capping so 
some of you have your Mercury. Um, Tell me Scorpio too. Taurus too. Cancer, Libra. It can be anyone, guys. It's just what's happening is the Empress, the Divine Feminine is in Empress energy and the Masculine is in King of Swords energy right now. Okay. And this is like a Rise of the Phoenix type things, but it's, 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 I'm not going to say it's bigger than that because that's the Rise of the Phoenix is pretty big. Big deal. But like, what's happening is you're, you're creating something brand new. And the way this King of Swords is looking at you, they're also seeing prosperity. But they know it's more than that. But you're not dealing with somebody who's foolish. You're dealing with somebody who's been analyzing this situation. Figuring out how to create, how to send this message, how to talk. What? How are we going to talk about what? Where are we going to talk about this? How are we going to pursue this? How it's, it's creation. Okay, so something this weekend is, is being created. something's rising again so if it doesn't put it this way if something doesn't come into fruition for you this weekend something is rising for you something is being created therefore it takes time for others this is coming in this weekend because seeds have already been planted it's time to nurture the crop it's time to watch the crop appear So it's time to work together. So nine of swords, but it's I see Libra energy here, strong Libra energy. It's it's pushing through. It's it's just what I'm seeing is somebody waking up from a dream and knowing something's about to be created. If someone's taking sleeping medicine, please stop. Try herbalistic teas, herb, herbalistic medicine, okay? Mind over matter. Tell yourself it's going to work. Because the medicine's making you wake up groggy. It's giving you nightmares. Um, but this is waking up and remembering your dream. And knowing that it's just you know it's already been created it's it's she's holding the baby it's it's already been created so now it needs to come into fruition so the two of you already know and you definitely definitely dreaming because somebody just woke up from a dream like, okay, but they're still analyzing the dream. There's no need to analyze the dream anymore. I think if anything, with all this analyzing all week, it's just time to 
step away from it if it doesn't come in. Because this has been a deep week, guys. you got to know when to step away from this deep energy. Um, so if you woke up about a dream, stop. Stop analyzing over it. Just go towards it if you can. Because the more you analyze about this situation, it's... There's no point. when You might as well have the conversation if you can. And then... Think about what it is you're going to do or where you guys are going. I don't, you know, it's like, I don't know. But it's like enough analyzing. It's the, it's the 401. See, yeah, it's, it's like walk through the door. Good morning. Walk through the door. Stop. Look at the difference. See, this is you guys analyzing. You know, like what type of what type of energy you want? You want this one? You want to continue to analyze, or do you want to walk through the door that's already open? I mean, this one or this one, this one or this one. You know, it's already been created. Your door is open. You already gave birth to whatever it is. It's already born. If you're just going to continuously analyze it, you're just wasting your time. You're mentally just going to mess with yourself, and there's no reason to continuously mess with yourself. It's like walk through the damn door. Step into the light. Did I sing that yesterday? Pretty sure I sung that yesterday. And just because she's sitting below the Empress, it, I mean, maybe the Empress walked through the light, stepped through the door, because she already gave birth. But to me, this is this is that dual energy because the King is looking right at the Empress. It, it's time to create. All right, so it's it's the Queen of Wands. She is gorgeous. I forgot to mention this. Um, if you guys have an amethyst, make sure you're sleeping with your amethyst. Okay. I was looking at a piece of jewelry last night and it was a necklace. It was in in the dream, but it was it was an amethyst, and no barking. You're dreaming of purple, too. I know it's linked to loyalty, royalty. I don't know if purple is like a, a color of like rebirth. I'm not quite sure why I'm spacing the color. But... That emerald's real strong to me, and she's in green. So I feel like the divine feminine's carrying the green, and the masculine's carrying the purple. I don't know why. I saw a ring the other day with emerald, but then I saw that stone last night. Amethyst, and it was on a necklace. And... I want to say I was just looking at something here in her hair. Yeah, seeing it's amethyst. Let's 
so I don't know if the gentleman is shopping for the Divine Feminine. It has to do with jewelry. It's it's either going to be an emerald or an amethyst. I actually pictured an engagement ring with an, an emerald in it, believe it or not. And I thought that was like, wow, that's different. But she's questioning whether or not to purchase a piece of jewelry for him. And it's, it's linked to Amethyst. I say the tool you just need to walk through the door. How about you just do this first? You know? So it's the Knight of Coin coming in right at the Queen of Wands. There's that green again. So I don't know if he's thinking about getting her green. Because this is linked. You smell good. What are you wearing? My perfume. That's the, your normal perfume? Yeah. The last 20 years. Mm, smells different on you today. Smells, <coughs> smells good though. Have a good day. Bye. That smells really good. See, it's the same perfume she's been wearing for 20 years, but it's like even her pheromones are different right now. Okay? So it's just the energy. Um... So, here's the deal. This is ironic, because I think he's searching green jewelry for her, or amethyst. No, because she was considering buying something for him. This, this was my dream, and you know me, my dreams, it, it's like premonitions. So, it's like, you might find a piece of jewelry... For him, but it's got an amethyst on it and you're going to question it, but it's linked to a crucifix. So I don't know what that's all about. If you're, if you're a man wears crucifix as jewelry, because I think that's, what's going to throw you off. Cause you're going to find a piece of jewelry. So it doesn't even have to be linked to a crucifix per se, but it's it, somehow it's linked. There's amethyst in a, in a, in a rosary beads in a rosary set. Okay. He is looking for emerald for her. Which is fine with me. Because <laughs> I don't have anything with emerald stones. So that works for me if that if that's the case. He can get me emerald all damn day. Okay? But this was exactly what was happening in my dream. Okay? Because she was looking at the emerald. All right, and let me get rid of that. And I don't know what, he, I don't know if he's looking for emerald for her. All I know is that she's linked to that amethyst, but it was for him, but she's wearing it. So I don't know if you already purchased something for him and it has to do, there's amethyst in it. I don't know. Somebody is searching for jewelry right now um, for somebody. So I don't know. If it's my other half, bring it on. I like jewelry. I like jewelry or it's linked to your chakra or it's linked to a kundalini awakening. Okay. It could be linked to your kundalini and I'm down with that too. <laughs> so I, it looks like I score either way if this is my story. Just saying, just saying, I don't know. You get the best of both worlds. You get a kundalini awakening again or the jewelry. I mean, it's a score. It's a score for me. 
But that's what's happening right here. So the, the gentleman is linked to Amethyst and the woman right now is linked to Emerald. Whether it's Emerald or not. It, it could even be a ruby. I lost my ruby ring. I had a beautiful one. What this is also telling me too with this ruby is that when somebody passes away in your family, a piece of karma is going to be broken. And I think it's linked to her father. Whatever that's all about. So if you're waiting for some type of karma to be broken, I think he might have passed away. You might not know your biological dad. He might have passed away. And it set you free somehow. That was weird. So I want to pull one more row. So I have 12 cards. So right now I have eight. Weekend energy. So it looks like someone's, it looks like for the weekend, someone, you guys are about to step through the door. The door. Stepping through the door of value. I sound like Lulu right there. Stepping through the door of value. Isn't that what she does? I haven't seen her in a while. I gotta check her out. Um, it's just the ones. It's, it's victory. It's a small victory, but this one feels like it's a huge victory. Goza, 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 goza. You do my baby. I mean to ignore you. You just want to play by the mama. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I just want more crushes. I just want more crushes. So we have the Queen of Swords. She's kind of looking at him like, okay. You can kind of feel like you won. Because she's a little like... She's got a serious face on, all right? She's she's gorgeous. She's smart. She's using her wits. It's just like she's a little bit of an earth angel, okay? She's like, okay, you want to be a warrior? She's she's just going to give him a little something. Not like a little piece of something. I'm sure you'll give him a little piece of something. But that's not... That's not what I'm... That's not where I'm going, even though I know you're probably going to do that, okay? But, like, this is like, okay, I'll give you that. Like, she's got a tiny bit of a smirk. Okay, so it's kind of like, okay, you can feel that way if you want to. I'm like, because look at him. He's like, yeah, warrior mode. Like, I did it. Like, I did it. You know? And she's just like the tiniest little smirk on her face. You know, but it's kind of like, if she lets him have some type of victory moment, She's allowing it, you know. It, it's like, <laughs> I can't explain it. It's like, I'll give it to him. You know, like, I'll let him feel like, like, it's kind of cute. Like, she's like, I'm not going to argue with you. Like, like, you can have it. Like, it's something like that energy, you know. Because if it was like, if it was like big deal energy, the Queen of Swords is not going to be like... The Queen of Swords is going to speak up, you know, so it's kind of like, whatever, I'm just going to let you have it. Like, 
pick when it's like one of those how to it's one of those pick your battles you know what i mean so it's like fucking have it you know like sure you know it's one of those so but yeah when you walk through this door let me tell you the two of you are being very um you're being smart you're being smart about it and it's the queen of coin oh we have a face off and the queen of wands is here too and the empress I don't feel third party this is not like third party this is like oh man oh she wants to wipe somebody out This queen of coin wants to wipe someone out. The queen of swords. But I think it's her. So I think, I think it's one of those. I got the goosebumps. So I think it's one of those. It's your own shadow side. But it, it's, it's the bitch in you. See, it's almost like. You know how I said like, you're going to just let them have it. But like. There's something ice cold about you, but not, what the fuck? This queen of wands is ready to kick someone's, I mean, this king of coin, queen of coin, she's ready to kick someone's ass. She's ready to beat someone down. And that's the queen of coins. Don't estimate the queen of coins, ladies and gents. She is going to kick someone's ass. I don't know what you guys are up to. But somebody's about to kick someone's ass. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you. I want to rumble right now. Like, I, I'd probably, like, I'm in that, like, holy shit. I'm like that mama. Like, I'm like that sweet mama. But you mess with me, I will take someone out. Just like the way you're about to take someone out. I don't know what that's all about. But maybe you won. Maybe you won. Maybe you won someone over. Because somebody just eliminated somebody. I gotta grab a water. But somebody legitimately just eliminated somebody. Like, mm, sorry. Not sorry. Like, you underestimated me. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Somebody's taking someone out. And it doesn't have to be, okay, so it doesn't have to be like hands-on physical, but this is like, this is like somebody, put it this way, somebody could have underestimated somebody. There could have been a third party. This probably meant something to somebody, but because this is a beautiful read, okay? So to me, it's like, I, I'm not really seeing it like that. You guys wouldn't walk through that door, but if it is like that, okay? Because these are newer cards. So I got to get used to these cards too. But somebody was victorious. But why? But he feels victorious. So if he had two women, that would be telling me that he let you to argue over something. So, or he just feels like the victor. So it's, so it's like, he's having these dreams. 
He could be afraid somebody's gonna, this woman is gonna, nah, you guys are about to beat someone down. Can we have, can we adult here, please? Because this is no joke. Like, we need to be adults here. Because you're about to beat someone down. Beat them down. Like, you don't, like, don't, don't you F with me. It could come, like, completely out of the blue. It's that energy where it's, I'm telling you, you're going to beat someone down. So... I don't know. I'm out of that stage. <laughs> Look at, I'm like, I'm out of that stage, but don't underestimate me either. If I'm put in a certain situation and I'm protecting somebody, I, I know how my blood boils. I, I'm the first one to jump in between, especially if it's my girlfriends. I, I'm that one to jump right in front of my girlfriend and look that girl in the face and be like, who the F you think you are? I'm that person. And this is who that person is. That person will is loyal. She's protective, okay? S don't underestimate this chick. Do not underestimate me when my blood boils like that. I don't think... I think now because I'm spiritual, you know, I, I don't even... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Spiritual or not, if that was my friend, I... <sighs> Someone's gonna step right in front of somebody. <sighs> It's bizarre. I can't even look at her. So, so put it this way. If you guys are not going to fight, okay, if you're not going to fight, it's just saying that you, you won. You won. But there was someone else. But you won. Like, you have it all. Like, they were dealing with somebody who was a little bitchy anyway. Yeah, she was probably hot. She was probably on fire. She, you know, she could have been good in bed. But you're coming in as the queen of wands and the queen of, of coin. Okay? Because he's going to the queen of wands. You're sexy. You're nurturing. You got the full package. You're rocking green and red. All right? This... This biatch with the the silver can bounce. That's what's happening. Because that's you. Oh, yeah? Because that's who you are. Why won't that focus? Why won't that focus? Okay, so there we go. Because that's you. So she, little Miss Thing over here, played a part somewhere. But she's out of the picture. She's out of the picture. You don't got to worry about her. She can't touch you. She can't touch you. But, like, for realsies, though, I don't know how that just happened. All right, let me talk to Spirit for a minute. Third party, the third party is being eliminated, okay? Um, for those who had a third party scenario, it's been eliminated. You, you can't touch this person. She might have been in the picture for a very long time, okay? But, um, not no more. Little Miss Thing is out of the picture. But that also tells me you must have you must have some type of jealousy streak in you too, okay? Because you're about to beat you beat somebody. 
So it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean you would beat this person down, but you beat her. You were victorious. You were the warrior. You're the ride or die. You're the lifetime partner. So if somebody else was in the picture, she she's gone. Okay. So there's you're the more solid option. I've never like this queen. It's the first time this queen of coin has come out. She is a badass. She is a badass. She's got every quality you want in somebody. She is no joke. This is like this is why he would be like smiling and smirking because he knows he won. Cuz ultimately, he ends up with the badass. She can nurture. She's prov provocative. She's intuitive. She's spiritual. She knows how to hold the fort down. She's no joke. She will put him in, in check if she needed to. Believe that. This woman, there might have been feelings, but she's got nothing on this other mama. And this other mama would not even worry about this other mama. The, there's this one is so high on a pedestal this one's just like pretty she probably knows how to rock a good outfit she was probably like a Victoria's Secrets model you know but this one's like I will kick your ass with my mom boobs okay move over you take your little you take your little Victoria's Secret ass and go walk it in a different direction. Like, get out of here. Get out of here, okay? Like, any hoozy. That was interesting. All right. Ooh, she's my favorite card in the deck right now. <laughs> she's my favorite card in this deck. She's no joke. She's feisty. She's feisty. With a page of cups. So he's got feelings. He's coming in towards her. Her back's turned right now because she's focused on something. It doesn't matter. She could turn her back real quick. She. She's a little jealous too. Well, nah. See, I don't really see her being jealous. She just knows what she's got. And she's. There's. This is the beauty of this read, okay, is because I'm talking about fighting and beating someone down, but, like, there's been tremendous growth. So it's like, you don't even need to touch her because she's, you're untouchable. You don't even need to stoop to that level. You already won. You took her out with the way you just looked at her. You know what I mean? Like, you intimidate her, even though she's the one that's a little intimidating, but not when it came to you. See what I'm saying? Like, oh, this woman is no joke. I love her. I just love her to death. Okay. She is she's she's your best friend. If she's not you, she's your best friend. Okay. But what this is saying is she already knows the deal. So it's it's just the amount of growth is basically saying I can't even imagine there being a trust issue. Okay, because you know ultimately who you are to this person. So I don't even think trust would be an issue. If there was even any type of scenario where there was a third party, somebody could have had a baby that you don't even know about. Regardless, it doesn't matter. You know how to nurture. He could have had a baby with this mama. It doesn't matter, though. You're not down to play games. See what I'm saying? You already win. So it's like, don't don't mess with the petty shit. Even if they have a kid together... Don't don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. I don't care if she looks hotter than you. It doesn't matter. She, she can't touch you. The bond that the two of you have, she can't touch. It's too deep. This is the type of growth, even though if there was some bullshit in the past, this is the type of growth where she'll be able to trust him because she just can. She, she knows how... She's she's just that confident in herself. And if he was to mess up, she'd be like, okay, you're lost. You're lost. No matter how deep the connection is, 
if that was to ever even be a thing in the future, which I, I can't imagine it, it would be. I mean, she's no joke. She is my favorite, favorite, favorite chica. And probably all my decks. Like, whoo, whoo. <laughs> I love her. I just love her. Look at this chick. Look at that. That is confidence. That is beauty. That is inner knowing. That is depth. That is, you can't mess with me if you wanted to. Beast mode. But very nurturing at the same time. Okay? That is gorgeous, gorgeous energy to have. I mean, look at her. Hello. I, I literally, that's my new best friend. It's probably me. It's probably me. But this knight, this knight is coming in to express how he feels. Okay? He's new at expressing, too. He's more about... He had a huge ego, okay? Whoever you were dealing with liked, like, liked looks, liked money. Just like, like, like. You, you were dealing with a little bit of a playboy, okay? So he's new at expressing how he feels. But she... She already knows. But she still wants to hear it, okay? You better believe she wants to hear it. So... <laughs> there's no competition here. Even if there's a third party still in the picture, she's about to be eliminated. There's no competition. She, he might have been living with somebody else. They could have had a child together. It doesn't matter. It was, it was comic. She's being wiped out. She's out. She's outie. She's outie. She's outie. She's out of the picture. Okay? It's only a matter of time. She's out. You win. The, the the woman standing is the one who's standing tall and proud and mature. But she is feisty. That's mama bear all day. I love her. She's fucking awesome. She's awesome. What do I want to clarify? Um, I don't really think I need to. This woman is awesome. She's awesome. I'm like, I don't even know what I need to clarify, but I guess that's your final card, the Ten of Cups. All right. That's your happily ever after. Like, that's that mama bear energy. Like, you, you don't even get to touch, you don't even get to touch my dog. You know, like. Like, she's, she's just amazeballs. Like, this, because she's not even in this picture. She's looking. Okay, she's looking at her children and this man, and she will protect them until the day she dies. This could even be somebody's mother who's passed over. I'm thinking it's you, but like, because there's no mama here. I mean, here. Yeah. See what I'm saying? But like, this could even be a parental, because I felt that. The minute it came on the board, I felt like... This could be a mother-in-law that's a complete douchebag, but she's really not. She's just protective. So she's basically saying, you better watch your back when it comes to my son. Okay? Because that's a thing, too. Because that would be me in 20 years from now if my son was dealing with somebody like that. But at that point, I'd be like... Phew. I know how to wave wands, mama. Put your sword down. I don't even need to touch you. So this woman, mother-in-law, if it's that case, she's pretty powerful and spiritual herself. Okay? So, but she will protect this family. So if there was another person, she eliminated that person. Okay? So it could have been somebody, it, it could have been that scenario too where she was looking out for her son and she eliminated the one that needs to be eliminated. And now he needs to go towards that family. 
because family life was so important to this person. Regardless if she was a mother-in-law, because I feel like this one would be passed over. If she was a mother-in-law, man, she was a freaking, she was no joke. She was a firecracker. She was a hot ticket. She's no joke, too. She'd beat your ass down. Yeah, it's, she'd beat your ass. She'd put she'd put her hands on you, probably. She'd probably beat your ass if she had to. One of those crazy mother-in-laws. But if she crossed over, she would spiritually beat your ass down, too. Okay? No. <laughs> But I think it's more of there was a third party energy and well, either way. Yeah. Cause even if this woman is deceased, she, uh, she still eliminated something for somebody else to be in the picture. So she's the coolest card in my deck. I don't know what we're going to call her. Something just came to me. It was like, Elsmeralda, Elsmeralda, Elsmerada, as Els, what is that? Are we back to that Notre Dame thing again? Elsmeralda, I don't know. Elsmeralda, Els. Els, Els Mavada. I can't even say it. But that's what we just named her. I don't know who it is. But that's what we just named her. Okay. She's Mama Bear. Whoever she is. It's some name like that. So apparently, here's the deal. She has a name. So it might be somebody who's passed over. To be honest with you. I wonder what that name means. Is that a Spanish name or is that a French name? Is that Spanish or French? Spanish? Do we know what it means? Can somebody Google it for me, please? Because it's actually a person. It means emerald. Ooh. We've been rocking those emeralds. It's not, so maybe that's so that's me. <laughs> it means emerald in Spanish. Yes, Spanish, and it means emerald. Okay, so it's something to do with that emerald. See, that's why I named her Emerald. How crazy is that? Her name is Elsmeralda, and she's rocking all that green. I, I I don't know what that's all about, but that is a message for somebody. Okay, so. I don't know if it's somebody's grandmother, somebody's mother. It's something, okay? But it's almost like if that's the case, what it's telling me is that it would still be me. See what I'm saying? So it would still be you. So it's like maybe it's that whole bloodline I was talking about. Some type of blood Maybe you had a blood transfusion. I don't know, ladies and gents, but I just know it's all linked. You have the same characteristics as somebody for damn sure. It's like you guys are the same exact person. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I like her. I like her. She's no joke, ladies and gents. She is no joke. But somehow, this mother or grandmother energy, because this empress is a mother too, is eliminated somebody for the right person to be in the picture. Somebody is very protective of their child. And I think it would be a son. So I gotta grab a tissue. So it's kind of like however that resonates with you is how you need to read it because it could literally be like 
I got like a couple different stories there. Because I feel like... I feel like you're somebody else's soul. Like you have the soul of somebody else. It's pretty ironic. You're linked to some type of bloodline. Okay. But regardless of that. All right. Somebody was eliminated. So you could be front and center. Oh, I love this woman. Whether it's me or someone else, I'm obsessed with this woman. She's no joke. She is no joke. That's somebody you want on your side of the playing field. Or battlefield. She is no joke. Elsmeralda. There's another name coming to me. Begins with an I. I don't know if someone calls her Izzy. As as is. I. It's not Isabella. Lizzie. Liz. Someone with an A or a D in their name got eliminated. Liz? Is there a Liz here? Liz? Whatever this I name is, She's either a mother or a grandmother, for damn sure. And she is protecting this union. She's going to protect this family from the other side. Like, something was reborn. The doors are open. It's... <sighs> this is a mother figure. This is a mother figure that passed away or a grandmother figure that passed away. There's no, there's, there's no question. I got the goosebumps. This is a past family member. She was the monarchy of the family. You better take real good care of her son. I don't, I don't know what that's all about, but. She knows you can. I can see the compassion. She knows you have what it takes. So get the third party out of your head for a second, okay? Because you're the queen. For those who are not a third party, you're the queen of swords. You're the queen of wands, okay? You're that person. That's a desire. You're the queen. You're not dealing with no bullshit. You're strong. You're beautiful. But you have a grandmother that passed away or a mother that passed away. We're going to name her Elsmeralda. I don't, I don't know why. But I have a Liz here. It's just, hey, it's just, it's just grandpa. I think somebody in the family is overstepping somebody. So if somebody didn't want something to go down. So we have two, here's the deal. We have two monarchies. We have a mother and we have a grandmother. I don't know if it's the same family. One of them died younger 
than the other one. But the one that died younger was the monarchy first. It was something like that. I, I don't know. These are two people in my hand that were both higher, higher monarchy, okay? And somebody, this grandmother or mother, overstepped and was like, stop. Stop. Somebody, I think somebody's mother, I think Elsmerelda has a daughter who's passed over. And Elsmerelda overthrew, I was going to say Liz. Or her name starts with an I. And was like, stop. Somebody gave it the go. Whoever the higher monarchy was, whoever the higher monarchy was in the family, she stepped in to make sure that these two people became a unit. This is a forever situation. This is, there's no way around this. This is, this is probably that depth of that person that you're going to be experiencing, okay? Because Elsmerelda, they're the same family. They're both green. They're the same family. She overtook her even. So here's the deal. This is the grandmother. This is the mother. This is the son. Okay. And the son just went through a rebirth. And this grandmother is making sure that this takes place. Okay, there's no question that this is higher monarchy. There's no doubt in my mind. This woman, this woman is this woman's mother. So this is the mom. This is the grandmother. And I almost said a, a break. I can't even say it. So it's it's somehow it's spinked. spinked. It's, some, it's linked to Spanish uh, background. Okay. Um, could be Italian, it could be French. It, it's it's linked to 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 that. I I kind of see like she's overthrowing. This is weird, okay? Because the grandmother is either all Spanish, and the daughter is only half Spanish or French. Or Cuban or Korean. It's one of those. So it's like the grandmother was all either Caucasian, all Spanish, all Korean, all Italian. And it was the daughter that was either like half mulatto, half Spanish, half Korean, biracial. So there's a biracial child on the board no matter what nationality, okay? But this great-grandmother or grandmother was not. She was all one. She was all Spanish, I think. And the mother was half Spanish, half Asian, half Spanish, half Caucasian, whatever the case may be, okay? She had the son, because this is her son. They're protecting this son. This other woman can hold her own. She's she's spiritual. Okay. But basically, family members from the other side, one overthrew another. So one overthrew their own mother or, or 
or daughter. It looks like the grandmother was more upset with the mother. I don't know if they made amends or not. I, I really truly believe when you pass over, everybody make amends. But she still overthrew, even on the other side, this mother still overthrew her daughter, which the way it kind of should be. If you think about it, it's, it's respect, okay? It doesn't have to be a bad scenario. It's, it's respect for the elders, if that makes sense to you guys, okay? So this is definitely Elsmeralda something, or it begins with an I, okay? But this is, um, this is definitely what that was. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful read. I just am a little like we have all we have all those scenarios on the board. If there was a third party, that grandmother made sure it was eliminated. I think somebody didn't want to step out of something they were in for a very long time because I think their mother wanted them to be in a certain situation. It, there's something there, like. Like, oh, you really shouldn't leave. You should really try. You guys have a kid to get. It could be anything. You know what I mean? And the grandmother was like, let your son love who your son wants to love. <laughs> you know, like she knew how to overthrow energy for damn sure. Okay. She's no joke. I like her. I like her a lot. So don't underestimate the elders. I'll tell you that. Don't underestimate the eldest. She's protecting a family. She's protecting her family. She's looking at this woman like, I know you gave birth to this son, but don't you overstep, even though she's the mother. It's a very bizarre connection the two of them had. It's the same bloodline. I don't think they ever broke family conditioning. I don't think the cycle was broke. She might have just broke it. Because I'm not playing with you. Even though this one's the emperor. Because this one's empress. This is the mother. But this is her, her mother. This is her mother. And she's only the queen. But look how more powerful she is. She holds power over her daughter. Even though her daughter is the empress. See what I'm saying? Because the Empress is the mother. This is like the grandmother figure. There's a whole story here. There is a whole story here. And it's linked. They're the same bloodline. The two of them are passed over. It could be a grandmother and a great-grandmother. If you ask me, it's a, a grandmother, a mother... And this grandmother is protecting the son. She's protecting this union in general. She's not letting nobody, not even the mother. She's not even letting the mother interfere between this man and woman. See what I'm saying? Like, that union is there. She's not letting nobody. And there's got to be a family somewhere. Someone has children. There's something here because she's not letting nobody... She is protecting this one. She's no joke. But she's looking at this one like they're no joke too. Somehow the two of them are linked. I don't know if it's through dreams. They're linked. They've had conversations. They've had conversations. Whether it really happened in 3D or it happened in their dreams. These two women are linked. She's like, you know what to do. That's why I said to you, Okay, I'm going to let you have it. Because this one's like, you know what to do. You've had a conversation with this person. So if this is this person's dead grandmother that passed away, she's a little intimidating, but you're not scared of her. But that's why I said that you're going to give it to them. Like, it's one of those pick and choose your battles. Because there's something here. There's that connection. There's that depth here. But there's also depth that has to do with this mother and this son. 
So if this is one of the reasons why this person's been isolating themselves, there's a there's definitely a legitimate reason why there's isolation being taken, why there's isolation. But your dreams are telling you you're coming together. So just kind of do what it is you do. You know what I mean? This person's coming in and she's going to make sure that it gets handled the right way. But see, she's already spiritual. It doesn't matter. This one will still be like, these two have had conversations. They've had conversations. I think she's helped this one become stronger. She gives a little insight on her grandson's life. She sheds light on him. She, she, she means the world. to him the the two of their they had to have had quite the link uh, stronger than even the mother even if the mother was alive this this grandmother and grandson the bond was beautiful because they're looking at each other and she's like you did it she's so proud of him she is so incredibly proud that sh that he's about to walk through the door with this person. Look at it. Because she's in the middle. Okay, let's get her out. Look how proud she is. She's so proud of him. And that's right in the middle. She's like, go, step into the light. Step into the light. You're good. She's also crossed over. She's making sure that the two of you are truly connected. So this woman, so whomever you are, you're linked to Elsmeralda. I don't know how you are. But that's why you wear green. There's something about green. That's why you're getting green. Maybe it was hers. I don't know because I saw it in a jewelry store. I'm not really sure, okay? But you're linked. Your bloodlines are being intertwined. Even if you guys don't have children, there's something happening with your blood, your DNA. It's going to be done divinely. I don't I don't know how that's even a thing, guys. But it is. You guys is blood. Pumps at the same time. Your heart pumps at the same time. I don't know what's happening, but this is the, why it's so deep. Because not only is it the divine, it's it's family members that are crossed over that are stepping in to make sure that this happens. And she knows these two talk. These two talk. So you're talking to somebody's grandmother in your dreams. Like you're talking to somebody's grandmother. They, this grandmother is saying good things about her grandson. Like, she's letting you know, like, it's almost like give him a second chance. It, it's something like that, okay? You're talking to this person's grandmother. You're channeling her. Remember that one day I almost had a conversation in Spanish? And I was like, I can't believe I stopped myself because I don't speak Spanish. Do you remember that day? I think you were channeling somebody else. You were giving somebody, I was giving somebody a message. But I don't talk in Spanish. But that's exactly what was happening. That's what that was. It was channeling her. It was a message for her grandson. So I don't know who this is linked to. But you have a grandmother and you got a mother that's passed over. Either a great-grandmother or a grandmother. 
and the mother's not passed over. It's something like that. It's two monarchies. But I'm telling you, the older monarchy, she rules. She's got ultimate control. She's so proud of this, this masculine energy. It's beautiful. And she's going to protect this family because someone's about to come become a family. And she's got a message. And she's relaying them through her. So she's relaying them through you, whether you remember them or not. They're being relayed through you. She's got a message. I, I think the message is just she's extremely proud. Because again, it's I'm hearing the Spanish. So I think she was all Spanish. The daughter was half Spanish. Something like that, guys. Or French. It's beautiful. She's got a message. But I think she already delivered it. I think she already delivered the message to him while he was sleeping. And this had to be within the last three days. He's about to step into the light. Whew. It's pretty deep. So you got good news financially coming, okay? Step into the challenge. You you know you you're working in a new area of study, okay? If if you're still conflicted, stop being conflicted, okay? It's like stop. No need to compete. No need n n stop. You're in a new area of study right now. So it could be spirituality. It could be anything. It said events are going to unfold at great speed. Okay. Creative solutions. So it's almost like that's her message. She just, she just, guys, she just adores her grandson. It's like I'm speechless. Like, she adores, like, it's, it's her, it's her baby. It's, she didn't even give birth to him, but it's her baby, like, there's a certain flower that she loved, too. He knows about that flower. Or he knows her favorite color was green. Or the flower was like a yellow or gold. It's, it's something. Their link is no joke. So I'm going to step out of this. It, it was absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay? She just adores him. Absolutely adores him. So beautiful, beautiful messages. I really feel like you're getting messages through her too, though. And if you haven't been, you're about to start receiving them again. I feel like you've already gotten them. And I think that's why some of you have held on to something really precious. I got the goosebumps. It kind of keeps you. This is, you know, you might not know exactly who this woman is you're talking to, but you know that she's linked to him for damn sure. There's no way you don't. Okay. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'm going to grab a bite to eat and I'll probably be back in like 20 minutes. Okay.
I'm gonna work with you guys a little bit today. Um, so give me about 20 minutes and I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, she was the rock for sure. Esmeralda is a green crystal too. Yeah, but she's also a person in this deck. She's linked. She's linked to green. So maybe somebody's last name is green. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So however it resonates with you, but if you ask me, there's an Esmeralda somewhere. There's, or oh, it begins with an I. There's an L in it. There's an A in it. There's an S in it. I S L A. Isla, it, it's something. I'm not really sure, okay? It's Elizabeth. It, there's something there for damn sure. How old am I? I'm 41. Elsa. No, I don't see Elsa. Maybe, because Elsmeralda, you would say Elsa. What is, is, I'm feeling more of an is. More of an is. No, I'm not really feeling Irene. I mean, it's possible, guys. It's an I, okay? So there's something there. But I'll be back in like 20 minutes, okay? I love you guys. It was a beautiful, beautiful read. That was a fun read. That woman's no joke. That woman is a hot ticket. She is no joke, no matter who she is. But for some, you and her... There's something about you and her. You and her are like the same person. It's, it's like, is it Dora? I don't know. But you guys are the same person. You have the same type of soul. There's something, there's a link. You, I guarantee that he looks at you. You either remind him of his mother or his grandmother. For damn sure. Because you and his mother, are you and his grandmother... You have that nurturing touch. There's something about you that is a spitting image of his grandmother or his mother. Mock my words. Adeline, maybe. It's something, okay? So I'm just saying, for damn sure, there's something he sees in you that he sees in someone in his family. There's no question. But it's a nurturing quality. Okay, it's not, it's nurturing. It's, it's, it reminds him of like childhood. There's something there that he finds beautiful and attractive. And I don't know, it's beautiful. But I'll be back in like 20 minutes, okay? I love you guys. See you soon. I'll see you soon.